Hey everyone, Ben here and we're back for redemption in the GT3 challenge in iRacing. I've swapped the baking temperatures of Hockenheim for the early morning cold of Watkins Glen and we've swapped the Ferrari for the Porsche. I've qualified in P7 of a 1.9k field. Can I make progress? Let's find out. Right then, we're about to get underway, coming through the final corner of the formation lap, waiting for the safety car to duck in. There it goes. We hesitate just a little bit there. That might cost us heading down into T1, but it looks like it's side by side up ahead as we get into the braking zone. And then a big mistake. Tim Probert smacks into the rear end of Green. That sent him off into the runoff area. Where will Probert re-emerge? I think we're side by side at the moment. There he is. He's come back onto the track, possibly with damage as we climb the hill for the first time I've got to just bleed out of the throttle slightly that gives Inui a bit of a run on me behind but thankfully he didn't get all the way alongside we're going to be tucked into each other's slipstream here I don't have any cars alongside me as we hit the braking zone for the inner loop for the first time just take things nice and carefully through here the car still very far from its operational temperatures at this stage we're on a very cold track in the early morning here at what Glen, it is absolutely treacherous. Very easy to lose the car as we come into the left hander. Look behind, and I knew he's done exactly that. He span off, he was slightly caught out there on the brakes. Tried to overcompensate by the looks of things and has gone off into the barrier. That gives me a bit more breathing space as I'm just trying to coax the car through these medium speed corners the rear end in this Porsche does not feel settled at all so I'm trying to push as hard as I can keep in touch with the cars up ahead not come under pressure from behind but the last thing I want to do is throw this race away in these early stages as we're just trying to get some much needed heat into the tyres and the brakes we're coming through then into the final part of this opening lap and it looks as if We'll be in P6, having made up a position there off the start as we're coming through then. That very tricky left-hander into the right-hander where you want to get the car out as close as you can to the wall. Carry as much speed and momentum as possible. Let's check out a replay of those incidents on lap one then. This is Tim Probert giving Ryan Green a huge whack from behind. Green must be livid in the cockpit there. Here's Inui losing it just behind me through the left-hander there and up onto the grass curb and look at that another car out a BMW there on the right-hand side is he caught out by a new span on the inside oh I'm not sure I think he might have been losing the car anyway we rejoin then on lap two we're actually up into fifth position so we gained an extra spot on that opening lap very good progress so far we are beginning to lose just a little bit of connection to Probert and Sotos up ahead we've got some pressure from Chechu and Catlin behind who are both within a second so I've got to keep things neat and tidy here I'm beginning to get more comfortable with the car by the looks of things this lap will be into the 145s and that's just about as good a pace as I've got today and I need to try and get my race pace to be as consistently in that range as possible in the high 45s the low 46s we're coming through the final corner then and it looks like something's happened behind us Chechu has fallen off the relative board let's take a look at it again then this is we're following Chechu oh he's got into a spin and Catlin has got nowhere to go he ends up tagging him from behind and putting him even harder into the wall but Chechu had already lost the car there really wasn't much that Catlin could do about that we rejoin the live action then all the way into the race on lap 11 Catlin had some connection issues, spam the car, and we've been trading lap times instead with Stephen Barron. But look up the road. We had dropped a good five or six seconds back from Tim Probert. He, though, seems to be struggling. We're reeling him in here at an incredible pace. What has gone on? Let's take a look at it on replay. And under no pressure, racing on his own, he's stacked it into the barrier through the penultimate corner, just as Chechu did. He, though, has managed to keep on running. So, he's damaged. We're reeling him in. And it looks like we're going to have one more racing lap after this. The gap now has come down to a second. As we try and get the car through the left-hander, you can see Probert is struggling hugely check out the left rear of his car you can see heavy damage there so one more racing lap can I get past the stricken Probert and get myself up 
into fourth position in this race. I'm going to have to be very neat and tidy and hope to take advantage of the fact that he must be down on top speed. As we climb the hill here, I'm going to be looking out to see where he's struggling on circuit because I don't want to get caught up in any additional incidents either. So I've got to be a little bit careful but try and press home my advantage here. You can see we're within half a second here as we're closing in through the slipstream but I'm not going to be close enough into the inner loop. So I'm going to have to follow him through the chicane here then. Again, being very mindful that he could drop the car at any moment. It must be a handful. And you can see he's having to have a few goes there to get the nose turned in to the right-hander. We're closing right the way in now then. Just a couple of tenths, but I'm not close enough to stick it down the inside of the left-hander. So I'm going to have to follow him through this corner and then on to the next straight. Once again, I'm going to try and put the pressure on into the hairpin at the end of the straight, but there's no room. I'm not close enough. I can't get alongside. This is beginning to get frustrating. I'm a bit worried now that with only a few corners left and they're all really mid-speed turns, I'm not going to be close enough to get this move done. We're closing it again into the right-hander. Again, I'm not close enough to take a lunge down the inside. He's holding the car together very well here given it must be an absolute pig to drive and get through these corners very tricky corner to come through at the best of times here you can see again he's just struggling with the front end a little bit but he manages to hold it one last chance then i'm going to try and pile the pressure on through this left hander and there he goes probably gets a big snap of oversteer here's my chance i'm going to go for it down the inside and we've got it done look at that he's gone off to the left hand side he tried to hold it around the corner there but with a stricken car there was absolutely no chance he was going to be able to hold it at the speed he needed so I was just able to get the move done at the very last ditch I took a chance down the inside he did not concede the position but his car was in no fit state to fight that one and actually not only did he lose the position to me but he's going to lose another two positions before he gets to the line pipped there at the very last but it wasn't the only big drama on the final lap we're following Hamid Rezik who's on the outside of Javier Davis fighting for the lead of this race Davis has led every single lap of the race this with just three corners to go is a fantastic move from Rezik to take the lead of the race and ultimately he would take the chance Checkered flag. Fantastic action. Here then are the classified results. We're going to get a good bump to our I rating well inside the 2K club now and even a little bit of extra safety rating. And you can see there we're coming home in fourth position, just 12 seconds off the lead. So we didn't have the pace to contend for a win here, but I'm actually pretty pleased with that. It was a fairly lonely race. Lots of action at the beginning, lots of action at the end. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then I think you'll really love the race that's on screen now.